What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Kaiju Wars. This is a top-down isometric tactical strategy game where they give you a selection of maps and then there's a big old monster that's trying to take out his objectives and your goal is to stop him by any means necessary. This is a very like fast-paced turn-based strategy game that I think works on a lot of levels. It's almost like they designed this thing from the ground up like how can we minimize the amount of clicks that the player has to make in order to do a thing like approach an enemy and attack and honestly I think it worked out pretty well so today we're gonna dive on in and spend about 25 30 minutes with the game and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on if after watching this you did want to get the game for yourself they have a publicly available beta or I'm sorry demo that you can check out it's definitely not a beta it's a demo so anyways that link will be down below in the description aside from that you'll also find links to all my social media pages Twitter Twitch, Discord, just in case you just can't get enough and you wanted to talk to me IRL, that's where I'll be. Let's go ahead and start it on off. We'll jump on into the campaign, and in this case, normally lately I've been trying to skip over tutorials, but actually the tutorial in this game is really, really good, and I think you guys will probably benefit from it, just because, like, the mechanics are sort of hard to explain, and I think that, like, the game does a really good job of explaining it. So... We'll start from the beginning, plus, like, with these demos, I never know if there's gonna be 25 minutes worth of video anyways. Out in the boonies where nothing ever happens. Welcome to Dead Meat Gulch Army Base, your highness, your honor? Ugh, where did I put my notes? Got them. Alright, your worship, that's what I'm supposed to call the mayor. Well, you can call me Major. Yep, spelled exactly the same as mayor, I guess, but don't worry, I'm not gonna try to take your job. I get sleepy even thinking about property taxes or public transit planning. I'm just here to guide your inspection of this here army base, seeing as it's one of the Flodio outskirts. Okay, uh, let's start the inspection. Let's get started. Wonder what tripped the siren. Probably an armadillo or a kid playing with a drone. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it down. Woo hee! Left click on the highlighted bases. All right, so we got to deploy some units here. We've got a fighter. The fighter can travel across any terrain, and you just got to get it adjacent to the enemy, and it works. Our anti-aircraft gun can be placed right over here, and that's a big old monster. Take a look at that beautiful pixel art right there. All of the frames into which they have imbued. Uh, that's the biggest, scaliest, gosh darn armadillo I've ever seen. Let's blast it to pieces! Units can move and then attack. So really, in this game, it functions differently than a lot of other strategy games. Like, normally, your movement and your attack are kind of divorced from one another. So you have, like, specific movement points and you have specific attack points. Like, usually they represent that as, like, blue pips and red pips or something like that. In this game, you have neither of those things. Everything just has movement, and if you end your turn adjacent to an enemy, they open fire automatically all by themselves. And so that's something to keep in mind. In addition, different units have different movement. So so like right here, you can see he has a speed of two. That means he can move two units on out. Uh, it wants me to go right here. All right, let's do it. Open fire! All right, your fighters can move four spaces and fly over any terrain. Let's go ahead and move these guys on over to here. And then we can also deploy a missile launcher over on this side. Dude, I love these missile racks. You ever seen a video of these missile racks going off in real life? They're just like, boom, 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 boom. Dude, it's so, it's so intoxicating. That's why when I play Mech Warrior, I always run LRM boats because all I want to do is foom. That's all I've ever wanted to do is just foom it up all day long. Well, he done squished my anti-aircraft gun. Did that thing just crush Carl? I mean, if that's his... I feel like Carl is the most frequently used name for any punchline. You ever notice that? Like, they say, like, in Comedy 101, they say that the, the hard C sound or, like, the hard K sound... K doesn't have a soft sound in English. But anyways, they say that the K sound, the k, k, k is the funniest of the sounds. Apparently, when it comes to naming people, Carl is the one that you use for comedic value. I find Kevin to be a little bit funnier. Like, now, Kevin! But, like, fair enough. Like, Carl works. Looks like that big fella's eyeing up the army base. 
You can click on him to view his possible paths. Yeah, so like we know what the kaiju is going to do on any given turn. So he's got like a 50% chance to go over here. He's got a 100% chance to go over here and like a 50% chance to go over here. Obviously, that doesn't add up to 100%, which is where like some of my confusion comes from when it comes to like... Okay, like, what is he gonna do? The bean counters have mapped the probabilities it'll step on each space or something. I don't really get it myself. Oh, I kind of get what they're saying. Then I must have read that poorly the last time I did this. So basically, there's a 50% chance it'll go in either direction, but his ultimate goal is definitely this spot. Okay, I get what they're trying to say. If we damage it enough, it'll slow down. Yeah, so if you look, the creature actually has two states. So the bottom bar is what he's on right now because it's highlighted. If we can get rid of all of that health, he will go to the next bar, and on the next bar, he only has one movement per turn instead of two movement per turn. And so really, it is advantageous in this game to wound the kaiju as much as possible in order to slow him down and protect kind of your your minimum operating facilities that you need in order to fight back. Uh, we'll go ahead, and I want to put the missiles over here. Hopefully he goes this way so I get to keep my missiles. Uh, it's still coming! Tanks! Tanks! Those will stop him! Deploy tanks. Alright, let's deploy some tanks. We've got our tonks. I'm also going to attack him with my jet fighter, even though it said that I shouldn't do that. There we go. Hit him with the jet fighter. Let him feel the tomcat. Okay. Well, I mean, we've still got our missiles, so that's good. Yeah, our missiles are still alive, so I think that's actually probably fantastic. Tanks are pretty tough, and it looked like it slowed him down. It cost the kaiju one movement point just to destroy a tank without moving into that space. Since that was the monster's last movement point, the base is safe for now. Okay. Well, then let's stay on it. Never surrender! All remaining units keep shooting! All right. We'll keep shooting. More missiles on him. Well, unfortunately, he's not dead yet. As much as I would love for him to be dead, I think he's going to be able to get to our base. Yep. Well, we used to have a collection of plastic tents over there. Now we have a collection of plastic shreddies. Feels bad. Feels real, real bad. Those suburbs are equally close and filled with people. What can we do? Uh, just keep shooting him? I feel like sticking to the operating procedure here, like... We've already been shooting him. I love how he gets knocked down when he changes states. One thing I would add is if the creature got more scuffed up, like he got, you know, like those little anime marks that people get when they've been beat up in like Dragon Ball Z, where it's just a collection of little black X's that like imply that they've been scuffed or like dust or whatever. He should get those all over him as he takes more and more damage and like moves through health states and he should get like a limp when he walks. Like, I feel like that'd be really, really cool. Oh, he's staying in. It retreats for now. Oh, cool. We scared it off, dude. Hell yeah. Where'd it go? How can something so big disappear faster than my paycheck? Well, we totally drove it off, so uh, yeehaw to that. Good thing we didn't panic or anything, huh? Um, I hope we can still get out of the basement of this army base now that he crushed the roof. All right, the kaiju wars begin. Let's do it. Well, we lost the tank hangar, but at least the command bunker's still all right. Hello? Did any of the seismometers go off? Who is this? My seismometers. Blinking lights on the console. The ones that you don't know what they mean. Are there any? Uh, that doesn't really narrow it down. I don't even think Carl knew what most of those lights mean. But, uh, yeah, there's blinking doohickeys. Hmm, exciting. There should be a gray data box beneath the lights under the dash. Please bring it to my lab. Who are you? You need to hurry. There are more kaiju coming this way. Um, that was weird. All right, either way, Mayor, we better get both you and the box back to civilization. Dude, is that a palace? Like, as the mayor, do I get to live in a palace? I gotta really change businesses here, dude. The YouTuber thing hasn't given me a palace. Whereas if I get to be mayor and also live inside of a palace, I feel like it's time to shake things up. Change the trajectory of the way my life is going. Another one of my seismometers has been tripped. That means there's a kaiju coming. Please, protect the lab. Buy me some time while I work. I don't like taking orders from randos, but regardless, uh, it's our duty to protect the civilians, so... 
the region doesn't have an army base or airfield. We won't be able to deploy any units until we construct a base. Mayor, save up some of that sweet tax money and build a base. Okay. Um, I have four dollars right now. Is four dollars enough for us to build an army base? Uh, okay, so we have to have a spot with a foundation. Gotcha. All right, well, the water is over here, and in the last level, he came out of the water, right? So, like, I sort of feel like we put an army base. Oh, I need 12 bucks. Aw, oh, weak, dude. It's a giant gorilla? Okay, so apparently there's different kaiju as well. I wonder if they're going to go with the standard, like, picks from uh, from Rampage, where, like, it's going to be, you know, Lizzie and Ralph and George. So there's going to be, like, an ape, a lizard, and, like, a giant wolf. Uh, some buildings produce money every turn. Money can be used for deploying or repairing units and constructing buildings. What's that blue beaker? I've never seen that here before. That's called science. Fill up the science meter and we're one step closer to victory. All right, so science is victory. I can dig it. Let's keep it rolling. All right, so he's going to kind of bang. These buildings are not going to make it over here. I've got a strong feeling that those buildings are not going to make it. I don't know what the locks do. The security, they're provided by buildings and projects. Gotcha. How much does it cost me to like, oh, I can't do anything right now. Oh, you can click on that for like an advisor. Okay. Well, I don't really have much else to do. Who gave you my personal number? Did that ridiculous muscle head actually figure out how to use the call display? Anyways, I'm busy. Just keep the ape away from me. Let me do my work in peace. All right. So he can move three. Oh, he's way more agile than the other ones. Okay, well, we're down to seven per turn now, so that's kind of, like, not ideal. I would prefer to have, like, a bit more, but hey, the ape just tore down Flodio Tower. I'm telling you, Mayor, it's war! Was there, like, a restaurant in there or something that you were a big fan of? Uh, yeah, give me a tank, I guess. And then I guess we'll end our turn. Like I said, with the way the game works, I'm pretty sure he's going to get all three of those buildings on the side, if not more of them. Just because it's going to take us a long time to get over there and get some units up and running. All right, so tank's good to go. He should be ready to move. We got a little bit of cash coming in. I'm sort of like on the fence about whether or not I should deploy another base. We'll move him over to here. We'll kind of give him the hot wheels. I've accepted that those three are going to go down on that side. Maybe we'll go... Yeah, give me another tank. Give me... Yeah, definitely give me some extra tankage, dude. The more tank groupings I have, I feel like the happier I'm going to be. I don't really have anywhere that I can take it. Can we just talk about how good the soundtrack is right now as well? I feel like they've done a great job with also the audio design of just like the tanks fighting with the kaiju. I think the one thing it's missing is they need to get some serious roars in here, like that real like Jurassic Park, just kind of like T-Rex roars, like something that really shakes the screen for when the kaiju is, is kind of getting amped up. Oh, look, he's got a little tummy gut though, dude. He's not scary. He's friendly. I can tell. Look at him, dude. He's taking a little nap. Like, he didn't mean to knock over the tower. He's like a Labrador Retriever puppy, dude. He doesn't mean to. Like, he doesn't understand what he's doing right now. Look at his cute little tummy gut. I can't help it, dude. I'm an animal person, and I'm, like, not a people person. So, like, on a passive level right now, I'm kind of cheering for the giant gorilla. I just, you know, I feel like the giant gorilla embodies some of those attributes that I find to be, you know, most impressive. All right, we should be able to get somebody into position to protect these buildings. So he's going to head for that building over there. Gotcha. Okay, let's move the tank up to right there. He may not get, like, a first strike, but at the bare minimum, he'll get something. Uh, let's get an airfield in so that I can start putting out two units per turn. That's pretty much all I can do. Hopefully, he decides to entertain himself with the tank. So that's one AP. It costs him two AP to move into that sector, so I think we're good right there. Yeah, he's been slowed, so he's still going to be able to attack over here, but he didn't get to kill it, so if it bleeds, we can kill it. Downing a monster earns a breakthrough, and we need two breakthroughs to win. Okay. Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, give me more give me more military units. I want like yeah, give me a fighter over here and then give me another tonk maybe. There we go. Put a little bit of heat on him. If we can lower his AP, I'll feel a lot better about this situation. 
What are his options? He's going to go after that building either way. Okay, well, we're starting to accumulate units. I think one more turn of, like, stamping out tons of units and we'll be okay. And, like, from there, we should have sort of a set economy to play around with turn by turn. Oh, he went that way. Oh, that's not good. Don't like that. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, do I have, like, a unit cap or anything that I have to worry about? Let's move him over to here. There we go, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Move that over to there, a little bit more damage. Now he's only got two movement points. There's our breakthrough, right? Is that going to fill in one of the stars? And then I'm going to kind of swing this guy this way so on the next turn he can push straight up in there and we can just have like a hard blockade. Give me a bomber and give me some missiles. Oh, you're limited on what you can produce. So you don't have like endless units. You've actually got to kind of ration out your units. Okay, I was thinking about using them as like a sacrificial steel wall and just keep pumping them out turn by turn, but that's obviously not going to be the best of options. He's definitely slowing down, though, and we've got a lot more units to kind of hector him with right now. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm going to put you right there. Give me a little bit more DACA. Perfect. Put the tank right there. We're going to surround and pound this guy. It's really kind of the only option that we have. I'll put you right there. You right there. And hopefully he doesn't have, like, any massive monkey stomp AoEs that are going to take out at everything that surrounds him. Ooh, those bombs were pretty cool, too. I really like the attack animations. I think they look fantastic. Uh, give me another fighter and give me some more missiles, dude. I'm just trying to do what I can do here. So he might go in either direction. That's okay. If he steps on the tank, that's going to be his entire turn because it doubles his movement point cost. If he goes after the fighter or after the bomber, that's going to kind of suck because that's one of our principal DPSers. But he takes your risks. He collects your prizes. Okay, so he went after the tanks. That's going to give us a little bit more damage, and it's going to eat up his movement point. Very nice. Perfect, dude. Could not have asked for a better resolution. So he's got two directions he can potentially move in right now. Go ahead and open fire on him. I think we can kill him from right here. Oh, we got him. Oh, it retreated. I thought there was going to be a death animation or something. It's retreating. That's right, Rod. We did it. Drinks are on me tonight. We just earned a breakthrough. If we can get one more breakthrough, we should be able to push the monsters back. Okay. I guess I had to finish that off right there. I just went, I think we killed the monkey faster than we were supposed to kill the monkey. You know, my, my tactical skills are way too high for once, man. Normally, I'm kind of remedial, and I just make observations that I think you guys will find helpful. But this time around, I'm actually like, dope, dude. Uh, wait, what happened? Why is it leaving? It's leaving because I managed to complete my anti-kaiju serum. I gave it to one of my grad students to administer to the monster just now. Oh, was that the kid who ran by with the giant banana? The what? The giant banana. He said it was important. He hung it from the balcony of the last ruined building. Well, I guess at least it worked. All right, come to my lab straight away. We have a lot to discuss. Do the breakthroughs do anything for me? Like, do I get to, like, so if I can upgrade my units in between rounds and stuff here, too, and there's some kind of, like, progression... I'd be pretty stoked about it. Uh, Kaiju Wars begin. All right, so we got medals. Do the medals count for anything, or are they just kind of like a plaza? What is this? Just minutes ago, the famous Flotio Tower office complex collapsed underneath the 300-foot gorilla that was climbing it. In the waterfront district, a giant lizard-shaped monster was spotted chasing after a food truck. Please stay calm and remain indoors unless your building is falling down around you. I feel like that's good advice. If you've got giant 300-foot monsters walking around, staying indoors probably a good idea. All right, let's see what's going on with this next mission, because I really enjoyed that last one, actually. I feel like they've really got it dialed in. They got the sound, they got the music, they got the visuals. Like, there's a lot of style in this one. The lab is the address we were given. Hey, I'm Emma Wagner. Welcome to my lab. Sensor data, now, if you please. Not exactly a people person. I thought doctors were trained in bedside manner, eh? By the blank expressions on your face, I assume that you have questions. I have data to process, so keep it short. Uh, sensor data. How fascinating. Yeah, the data confirms what I've suspected. You want to fill us in, Doc? The data is recorded from a seismometer. A seismometer measures ground noises and shaking, normally used for recording earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, explosions, that kind of stuff. It's true. And then you use the seismometer to triangulate things. 
For a few years now, we've been pre-recording odd small-scale earthquakes in the Dead Meat Gulch area. It's odd as we're nowhere near any fault lines, meaning earthquakes should not occur there. Yeah, so fault lines are basically big-ass cracks in the Earth's crust, and there's different, like, types of movement. There's kind of divergent, convergent, like, there's different types of fault lines, and generally you kind of have to have a fault line around to have any tectonic or seismic activity. It's not like a hundred percent, like sometimes you can have weird stuff like hot spots, uh, but like, you know, in general, you need a fault line. I now believe these odd small scale quakes were kaiju moving about. We should be able to track their general area and direction using highly sensitive seismometers. You can track them? Oh yeah, dude, time for a good old fashioned deer hunt. Hunt them? God no, they're the hunters and we're the prey. Speaking of which, we need to start evacuating. One of them is coming this way. All right, let's start the evacuation. You have the access to vehicles, right? We do, however, we're short-staffed at the moment. My base has only had time to mobilize and deploy. It's fine. My grad students will evacuate the equipment from the lab when the kaiju approaches. The kaiju appear to simply target the nearest building, and that... What makes you think they're coming for you specifically? I have suspicions. Just be ready to get us out of here, Major. Yes, ma'am. You heard the doc, Mayor. Let's get prepared. All right, where's this big guy coming from? Well, it looks like we've got pre-built bases this time, which is kind of nice. I don't have to... Oh. Okay. Mayor, this is my lab. You've got to protect it. All right. Hey, this region's a lot better developed than the last one. That's great. We can actually roll out troops instantly. Yeah, we probably should, although we don't know where this guy's coming from. Probably down this way, maybe? Give me a tank. We'll do a little bit of reconnaissance. Oh, he came from up there, dude. I thought he was going to come from the other side. Weak. This may be inconvenient. Now I have no way to protect my base. And that's going to be the first thing he goes for, right? Let me take a look here. So what's his plan? His plan is to smush that building over there. Okay, roger that. Go ahead and at least give me something over here to act as a buffer, because when he gets done with that, he's going to go after that. We do have enough money to get an airfield up and running, so I'd probably say let's go for speed four, speed three. Okay, I need something to get across the map a little bit faster, so I think I'm going to go with that. It looks like we also... Oh, we have cards. Okay, so like cards are going to come on into this too at some point, although they haven't become relevant right now, but at some point they're going to be useful. Wow, he's got four movement? Oh, man. We got problems. Okay. Well, we've got a little bit of money to toy around with. I do think that getting aircraft up here, kaiju are not our only concern. Suspicious events are affecting the city, and I detect the pattern. This pattern will most likely involve a dark project taking place every turn. I believe a sinister force may be behind all this. We must be prepared for anything. Okay, so what happens when we run out of security? Because they definitely just targeted our security. Uh, you guys get up here as fast as possible. Give me some missiles. Basically, I'm just trying to clear all the units out of there that I possibly can for right now. Uh, because he's going to go after that next at some point, and then we're going to have issues. All right, we've done all of our movement, so he's going to get that building right there, but we should be able to make a stopgap here. Okay. They're continuing to hack us or do something to our security rating, though I know not what that means. Science appears to be going okay, though. So we've had a science breakthrough. I mean, so really the goal is not to kill this thing. The, the goal is to stall it. You see those red locks in the lower left? That's our security. If it gets fully canceled, Dr. Wagner's location goes public. My gut tells me that when that happens, the monster's going to head straight for her. Okay, so we're being messed with by outside forces. Get on in there, start putting a little bit of attrition on him. Yep, get all the vehicles over there that we possibly can. It looks like I can't build anything for right now. What does the truck do? Oh, it transports Dr. Wagner. Gotcha. So, like, I can actually fully have her evacuate and, like, move her and give the monster the runaround, basically. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, give me a bomber, I guess. We don't really have much else to play with. Which way is he going to go? Okay, so he went through the tank. That's good. That's going to eat up one of his movement points, and we get a little bit more damage off. I'm okay with that. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, we're going to have to glomp onto this dude at some point and stop him, but he just knocked out one of our securities, so it's possible that uh, Wagner's location is about to go fully and unbelievably full public. All right, so he's going over there. Buildings like lookouts, army bases, and airfields are the source of your security. Each one that gets knocked down makes it easier for Wagner to, for the enemy spies to find. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do, right? So he's got a 50% chance to go that way. Let's just put some heat on him, dude. He's got way too many movement points right now, and I've got to get on top of that. Okay, so his movement points have been knocked down now, so that's good. He can only move three spaces at this point. Pretty low chance he's going to come over here. I'd rather wait until I can get, like, these guys really fully centered on the enemy. If he gets the warehouse, that's okay. I'm not going to be upset about it. Let's just get a few more units rocking. All right. Oh, he tail swiped me. Okay. Oh, he went the direction of my tank, too. But we may have protected the building on this turn, so that's, like, really, really good. Indeed, we did. So now he doesn't have the AP to go after the building. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got a security breach. I assume that that's programmed and expected. A breach has occurred. The invader has overcome our security. Oh, he's going to go straight for her now. Gotcha. Okay, it's headed for Wagner's last known location. There's no need to panic. We have emergency measures. If it gets too close, click on my lab to begin evacuation. Call me on the advice panel if you want to know more. Okay, get on in there. Let's put some heat on this thing. I'm not trying to get too crazy but I'm definitely okay with messing him up. Yeah, you move over there. Bomber, come out this way. Is he looking at the bomber? What's he looking at? So I assume he's going to beeline over to the lab. Dr. Wagner becomes hidden when she boards a transport, but the lab she was in is still being targeted by the monster. You can move your truck transport immediately. You can transfer to a faster-moving boat by moving next to a harbor or a plane, leaving next to the airfield. Move your truck into the harbor. Okay. Yeah, switch to boat. Boats can only move on water. Move the boat towards the coastal lab. Oh, I see it down there. Okay, fair enough. It took me a second just to eyeball it. All right. Well, we'll see what happens here. Oh, another tail swipe, huh? Okay, well, I guess anything that slows the critter down. Oh, he went around my tonk. Okay, this thing is smarter than I'm giving it credit for. Will rent go up? Somebody asking the real questions out here in the face of the kaiju apocalypse. Uh, Doomsday Clock Monster gets eight health back. Oh, man. Okay, these events are bad. Panic grips the city as Dr. Wagner's not in a lab working on her anti-monster serum. No science or money is produced. Oh, that's problematic. I could see that being a potential issue. Okay. Fascinating. I believe I've discovered more about these so-called dark projects. To put it in terms you might understand, think of them like a deck of cards. When they run out, they get reshuffled and repeat themselves. However, while a security breach is in effect, dark projects that cancel security like Black Ops are skipped. We should therefore expect the most dangerous projects to occur during a breach. Okay. All right. Let's put some smoke on them where we can put some smoke on them. Give me another tank over here, too. Uh, if you can, try to catch up with him. There we go. So she's in a new lab now. That should re-establish our security. Uh, yeah, more missiles might be good. Or more planes. I don't know. Yeah, we'll take some more missiles. Why not? 
I can't really get him into position, so unfortunately we're kind of playing a game of Chase the Kaiju right now. His movement, unfortunately, is superior to ours. And there goes another tank, and when he tail swipes, we don't get retaliatory damage. I wonder if he'll crush the mountain when he goes over there. Uh, he will not crush the mountain. So apparently using the tail swipe is free for him. All right. Well, we got to worry about security breaches again, but hey, at least we've got cash flow one more time. And science is happening, so we've got another scientific breakthrough. We just got to hold for, like, a few more turns, dude. That's all that we need. A couple more turns. But this is Kaiju Wars, and we're out of time. Honestly? Went into this one? Like, kind of like, eh, okay, I'll check it out. It has kind of an Advanced Wars look to it. I don't really, uh, you know... Advanced Wars is not my forte, but at the same time, I'm really, really glad that I decided to take the time to check out this demo. This is a really cool game. Like, they've got all the bits and pieces, like, exactly where they need to be. And so he's going to destroy the harbor next. I'm okay with that. I can deal with the harbor being destroyed. Oh, does he always tail swipe? Okay, so we never want to be behind him. Gotcha. Okay, it makes more sense now. Give me another tank. And then we'll just keep the units flowing. But for now, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today we had Kaiju Wars. Tomorrow we will very likely have something else. Check the demo out below and I'll be back with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.